All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I have been creating a website for a mythical gym called Jacked or Jilled, Jacked and Jilled, uh, for the Rankin Technical College AWD Application and Website Development 1000 Web Development Technologies class. And very quickly to tell you, this was cut off last time because I had it set to 60 rem and I changed it to 100% uh, and now it's all the way across. And I've mentioned this before but I want to say it again and that is that right now when you look at it, see how this looks? Right now I, I would not call this very responsive. In the about page, a little bit more so. But even there, it looks kind of funky. So what I plan on doing right now is coming in and creating a second uh, a second CSS style sheet that will be set up just for mobile development. It will be shorter than the other one. I should be able to do this in one sitting, so to speak. Now, the first thing that I want to do when I start to do this is to come in here and go into both my index and my about. So I want to go into both of those, and I want to add that one. Order in here, remember, is very important. In other words, I want to make sure that I add any kind of normalize before I add my own style sheet. Okay, and I'm just going to come in here and use this, and I'm going to say add my own mobile cascading style sheet file. All right, and this will look a little bit different, just so you know. All right, and what do I mean by that? Well, when I do my link on this one, rel equals style sheet, I guess I've actually got it in here already, don't I? Oh, I do have it in here already. Okay, great. Um, so I already had it right there. We'll go back and we'll change this to files, and I will remove this. All right, so again, one last time. This is my regular style sheet, the one I've been working on in the last several lectures. This is the, quote, new one, unquote. All right, and it should only take effect in screen sizes from technically zero pixels to 768 pixels. After 768 pixels, this one should take effect. Zero to 768, this one should take effect. Now, if you remember, if I open the... Sorry. mobile CSS file right now, that's all that's in it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to uncomment it. What does this mean? What this means is now when I run my web pages, my index and my about page, if I, my size is less than six, 768 pixels, all right, if it's less than that, all right, the site should disappear. So what does that mean? Well, it's easiest to show you. So let's open it with Live Server. All right, you can see it. Notice, once I get to 768, you see it just fine. Underneath that, you see nothing. Same thing with about. All right, there's a little problem in here with the with with this. If you look, that's 768, and when I get to about here, there, it looks fine. But before that, I've got problems. See then? All right, I'm not going to worry about that right now, and my hope is that'll all be quote fixed unquote when I get to talking about um, grid and flexbox, all right? But for now, let's go back and let's go into our 
mobile.css file. I'm going to again come in and I'm going to comment that out. Got that in there just for a test. Okay, so first thing I want to do is from my nav bar, what I've decided that I want with this is that when I'm showing this thing, okay, and I cut down the size like this, I don't even want that logo to show. All right? I just figured it was simpler to get rid of it. And it allows me to show you a couple things too. So I'm going to say here, dot navbar, I think it was dot logo, I'll find out in a minute, and display none. Now I don't remember with logo if the logo was a uh, class or an ID, so let's look. ID equal logo, so since it's an ID, that will be wrong. And navbar is also an ID, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Pound navbar, pound logo. And again, at least with some of these, I'll make the change just to show you that, again, now, if I make this smaller, you can see, hopefully, there's still some problems here, but what has happened is my logo has disappeared. All right? Let's continue on. Again, I'm not going to stop with each and every one of these. Okay? You, you probably saw how that looked a little funky up there, but notice when I do a nav bar UL and I come in and I do a margin top on here, and I think I only need about 0.5 rem. See if that, I just want to see if that's going to fix the problem I just had a minute ago. Okay, see now it's, it hasn't disappeared. The logo disappears, but this has not disappeared, which it did before. All right, so let's just continue on, shall we? All right. Now, what I want my navbar ul, my navbar ul li, what I want to have happen <clears throat> is I want there to be no more floating. In fact, I want it to be, for lack of better words, I want it to be in the middle. All right. What does that mean? That means when I come down to here and I bring in my A here, what happened there? All right. So for my links, I want, oh, let's put some padding. Uh, five pixels is what? Let's say uh, 0.33 rem. That's fine. Uh, text align center. Margin zero auto because we want this <clears throat> hopefully now to be centered on the screen. So let's see if those changes all worked. All right. Yes and no. I mean, when we made this smaller, oh, there we go. That happened, but for some reason, this is not centered on the screen. I'm not sure what the problem is. And actually, much of the rest of the first page looks pretty good already, but we'll just keep working on it. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything here. I don't think I did. Text 
one center. I should not have to do anything like this. This doesn't even make sense to me. some reason that got pushed over and I don't for the life of me don't know why right now I'll have to check that out see if I can get that fixed all right let's just continue on though change quite a few things for this join area remember this is what ends up having our um, email text box and our button in there. So I'm going to make all these changes and because um, there's quite a few here again for the join I'm going to change that the paragraph the email and the submit and once I get all of those done then I will go back and take a look at it okay I want the font size to be a little bit smaller I think that it was uh, 16 points or 1 rem. Now making it 0.75 rem will make it the equivalent of 12 points. Hopefully that's everything that's in that section, so let's take a look. Okay. Wow, this is just getting worse and worse here. So I'll have to fix that. That looks like it could be a, a size problem. This looks like it should be extended. I don't know. Maybe I put a weird margin in there. I don't really know. So. What's next is our testimonial area, and that'll basically finish it for this page. All right, you can see what the problem is. That's pretty, that writing is pretty large. That looks terrible, and so does that. So let's work on that next. And again, I'm going to have to take a look on here and see if somehow I set this missing something or just what is going on here okay
First thing I want to do is that font size is way too big when you shrink down. So I'm going to reset the font size for my H1 to 1.25 rem for about 20 pixels, where it was more like 32. Oh, I forgot though. Let's just copy this. For the box itself, I want the width of each one of those that is now at 33.33%. I want the width to be at 100%, and I want there to be no floating. All right. And after I change this, I want the H2 to be one rem, and I want the paragraph text that is in here to be 0.75 rem, or about 12 points. All right, so let's do a file save all. Let's try to bring this thing up. Well, that didn't change a bit, so I gotta double check that. Could mean a lot of things. Might mean I didn't save, but I thought I did. Save all. I believe these are all in a box. So that's dot box. Let's see. So that'll be dot box H1, dot box H2, and dot box P. Let's see if that made any difference. Yeah, it looks a little better. So, two things I have to fix yet on here, as far as I can tell. One is this. It just looks terrible. This doesn't look too bad. I don't know if you really want that on her head, but that's not terrible. Uh, this doesn't look like it shrunk down, so I'm going to have to fix that. And also, I'm going to have to fix the size for the footer. So, footer... Our H1 and our nav area. So let's work on those one at a time. For the footer, I know what the problem, or the H1 rather, that's not inside of a box. So that should be like this. That should fix the first one. So we should see now that our, see how much smaller that is? Okay, I fixed that. Again, we got to fix this and our footer. I don't think I put anything in here for the footer. So let's do that now. And again, I should do the same kind of thing. I've got my body here. All right. Just say nav bar. This is our home or index page. That's all of this. And down here will be our footer area. And all I want to do here is. Uh, make it even smaller than it currently is. And that is, I'm going to say the font size is 0.33 rem. 
so that's about a third of 16 so that's about five pixels all right let's double check that again we'll go back to here do a file save all bring this up in our live server and again as you can see once we shrink it down that fixed this and our it's kind of hard to see let's make that smaller again get it up here you have to, you have to kind of bring this down and we have to move this up a little ways but you can see now if you look the header is just or the footer is just fine but that's all done the only thing that's left for some reason and is that is just all goofed up and that's my nav bar so which says I should go back to here and check the regular nav bar our logo somewhere somewhere in there I'm either floating Just gonna put a float none into all of these. Oh, I don't think that's the problem. But we'll check. Well, that must have been the problem. It is now, this isn't high enough, but you can see that now, well, that doesn't look good either, does it? Oh, I didn't fix that one yet. I will fix that one momentarily. So, we've now got this. So, the height of this is not good. So, let's tinker with that a little bit. So this is the actual nav bar itself. Let's try giving it a height of 3 rem. Just I'm just making that up. I have no idea if that's going to help hurt or what. So Okay, let's definitely, let's try to make it about uh, 12 rem. In fact, I'm going to make it 15 rem. Does not look bad right there. so there is my fairly fixed page fairly responsive page it is so far from perfect and notice that once I get out of my comfort zone so to speak it does revert back okay so that's about 760 770s there you go there's 768 and up so we've got all that fixed so what is left be honest with you not much all right I've got to go and try to fix the other page and what I tried to do in here was to keep this what we did in here at a minimum I went and did a bunch of reading etc so this is where I want to show you where in my humble opinion this stuff starts to fall apart all right so there's my nav bar there's my footer area so I want to put in here my about page and it's very 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 simple dot left dot right show you what I did no floating 
try to center it. I put a with auto in there. I, I found an article online that I was reading, and I pulled some stuff in there out of it, and some of the rest of it I didn't like, so let me just show it to you. That'd be the easiest. unveiling so to speak go to about run that and live server as you can see it doesn't look any different there but when we make it smaller there is a problem but when we make it small enough that's kind of what I was going for right there now that's that works just fine but notice again still fine you know, but when I reach a certain point right here, it, for lack of better words, pardon my French, but it goes to hell. All right? And I don't like that at all. And that's something I'm going to attempt to fix, but I'm going to attempt to fix using Flexbox. So, not like, you know, this has been several lectures to get through this. But the site is at least semi-responsive right now. I'm going to try to do to do away with the floats and come back and show you some flexbox, then show you some grid layout, then come back and add the rest of the stuff that we've been talking about. So I'll be back with that shortly.